Grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Hi, I am Jay. I'm Mike. And together we form two kilobytes. Cat couldn't be here today. Cat couldn't. Cat couldn't be here today because she's in Phoenix. She'll be back. Don't worry, she didn't quit. Today and today and today. Enough with the mic. And guess, guess what, what, guys? We got to review Kirby. Kirby. Epic yarn. Here's to you. The manliest game of all time. Now we haven't seen Kirby on a console since 2003. And Kirby Air Ride. Now what's different about this? Well, immediately as you can see. It's yarn. He doesn't have his powers, it's like he can't suck in or eat anything. How did Kirby become yarn? Well, he's looking for tomatoes, and he eats a tomato. And the problem with this is, it belongs to Yin Yarn. Evil w wizard wannabe who wants to w control the er w earth with tomatoes. And so I guess it's some sort of magical tomato. Stop it with this. <laughs> a magic tomato that belongs to a wizard, and you end up eating it, yeah. and then it sucks you in to Patchland. It's a very unique game, it's very fun. It's only on Nintendo Wii. My first initial response was like, this is a fun platformer. And then I realized, you can't die! But, you're collecting beads in these little worlds. You get struck by an enemy. Anal beads? You lose all your anal bleed beads. It's cute, it's fun, it's, it's amazing cute. It's platform. It's sexy, it's good. It's sexy, it's, it's honorable. A, he's a pink nut. It's mm -hmm. so childish. Yeah? It's almost made for toddlers, like what? five year olds. No, shut up, wait a minute. Who cares? Little Big Planet's very childless. It has adult edge to it. <laughs> what adult edge does Little Big Planet have? Maybe I should get the actual game out. One sec. Michael, you do this to us always. Got Kirby. Hey, it's Kirby's cool. Epic Yarn. Once you go to Patchland, you yeah. meet a prince. You save a prince. And his name is Fluff, and he's a little blue guy. And this is a two-player Kirby game, two-player platformer. So when Jay wants to play with me, he plays as Fluff, and he has the same abilities as Kirby. I'll fluff you. Oh, oh, how fluff is? Oh, what do we got? You can't use any Kirby powers. You have new powers, so they replace but it. Kirby's about eating, sucking things in, eating them. I found it very refreshing. I think people are expecting the classic Kirby game. This is taking a step further and putting a new direction. Kind of like Metroid Other M did. Software lineup of Nintendo. They're really putting all of their eggs into this whole, let's revitalize the past. Put all their eggs in one Yoshi nest. You got Goldeneye, you got Epic Yarn, you got Metroid, you got yeah. Donkey Kong. Oh. So he's, because he's yarn, he can transform into everything. Yeah. First of all, yeah. he, he has a yarn whip that's cool. You whip them, and you can knock them over and pull them apart, or you can whip them into a little ball of yarn and throw them. It's the ultimate disc. So you can transform into... Surfing penguin. A dolphin. One of the best things you could turn into is a UFO. <laughs> that's right, you can abduct enemies and kill them. Be a power mole. The most creative one, I must say, though, is the train, because you actually draw the train tracks. And well, that, can... that's taken from an old... DS Kirby game, if you oh. fanboys like to know. A lot of the things you turn into, you also have to tilt the controller to use mechanisms right. on the devices. The fire truck, yes, you, you push the D-pad forward, but you also have to tilt the fire hose and put out fires. Yeah, and it's not water, it's just blue yarn, but it looks like water. Hey, they did a really good job with the effects on this game. What's also cool about this game is you have an apartment that you can fully furnish like this set. Kind of like an animal farm. Yep. So you can customize your own apartment. If you're really into collecting and uh, going back and, and really finishing the level completely, they put that into the game for you people. When you play multiplayer, Jay and I, we can actually lift each other much like we do in real life. Deal with issues and problems or we deal with a brick wall in life. He'll save me, I'll save him. Sometimes we'll be both suffering, no one will save us. There's no cat, there's no one. What you could turn into on the fly is you just double tap the left or right area. You can turn into a car, which mm -hmm. makes you able to jump further. You can also turn into like, I, I call it just a cinder block. He's up in the air, you pull down on the D-pad and you just crush the enemy underneath you. Kind of like Mario does. So my favorite one is the parachute. You just double tap the jump button. You can actually float to safety. But one of the major flaws for the game for me is you can't die. And I still can't get over that. But it's not I'm... about that. I've been, I've been telling them all weekend. It's not but about I that. I like death! But collecting as many beads as you can. Going through each world and getting the most beads. It's not about survival, it's about I collecting. Know. I collected them really good. <laughs> Overall, 
I love this game. It's probably one of the better Wii games that came out this year. I give it 9 out of 10. If you're, a Wii, if you're a Wii owner, I recommend Whoa. purchase. I recommend purchase if you're a Wii owner. Well, how do you feel overall about this game? I give it a 7. A 7? Yep. And I felt that it was very repetitive. You're always doing the same uh, motions with the Wiimote. Yes, you do turn into a car and a buggy. I'll admit some of that's very fun, but it, it just seems like they had this simple idea and said, Dolphin. It's not very inspiring to me. It's I think, it's, fun, just pure, I think yeah, it's just pure game. It's just a fun, simple game. Like the story is very childish and silly, but well, who cares? So is Mario. I say it's a must rent. It's definitely not an, uh, something I want in my collection. Oh my. So I love what they did with it. I love the art design. It looks so nice. It almost looks HD on the Wii, which is unbelievable. It's very repetitive. I don't you, agree. You're, you're, you're all playing. the worlds. I'm always I'm always faced with new puzzles in the game, so that's why I give it that. Yes, out of 10. you are. But I, I've been there. I've done that in other games. Well, we agree to disagree. I'd like to thank Michael for this episode. Cause deep down, I still love you. Ah. And guess what, guys? We got to interview Kirby. Interview. <laughs> so he comes across a tomato. No, wait a minute. Did you actually turn it on? Like it, it's not gonna work if you don't turn it on. You know, it's it's a prop. It's fake. It's not real. So Kirby comes. It it logo. Yeah, and they they did a really good. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> they did. I think we broke the microphone. Hey. Bites.